Don't be a flake, don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed, don't hesitate to say, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe. Hey, babe. It's uh-huh. been several hours and 15 days. Since you took Hey Babe away Uh, I go out every uh, night and sleep Hey Babe uh, Since you took Hey Babe away uh, Since you've been gone I could do whatever I want I could see whoever I choose I could eat my dinner in a fancy restaurant (laughs) But nothing, I said nothing can take away these blues Cause nothing compares Nothing compares to Hey Babe Sinead O'Connor, R.I.P. R.I.P. Just and sad. with Sinead O'Connor's death brings life. Jared Fried is here. Yeah. What, a, what a tribute. I got to yeah. say, yes. I don't think I'll ever be able to erase the image of Chris doing the ahs. <laughs> <laughs> the face you made was crazy. I couldn't take my eyes off we of you. Lose, we lose one Irish Catholic. We gain a Massachusetts Jew. That's right. Jared Fried. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Shalom. Shalom. Chris, you, uh, you don't have a good singing face. No. It is. It is it you got to put a replay of Chris's face. Atrocious. You know, you didn't belt it out enough, so it kind of looked like you were c***ing. Yeah, well, like it, was it, like, ah, it looked like, like an ejaculatory uh, in area. A way, right. It in looked a like way Sylvester Stallone doing the ah. Uh, in a way, I was, because it's one of those things where this is the new thing with guys. I'm always a bit behind the fashion trend. Mm. Guys, you're bringing, men are now bringing the capri pant back. It's back. Well, um, yeah, it's not a capri pant so much as a high cuff I did a, I rolled dungaree. It, a little high cuff dungaree. Here's the thing. I, you, 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 you want to be loved or you want to be hated? You don't want to be meh. You don't want right. to have no one to have no opinion on I like you. that. So there are, you know, again, for the women out there, I've been like polling women. And some of them are like, the cuff, I, I couldn't get wet if I went on a water slide. Then some of them are like, love the cuff. Right. So I'm and willing to go, Let's love it, me man. or hate me. Yes. That's what you want because in the middle is boring. Nobody cares. Nothing. You didn't commit. Like I didn't commit on the sound with right. Sinead O'Connor, but you've <laughs> right. committed with the pants. And <laughs> yes. now, and that's what I, that, and that's good. I also came in here smelling like a full hazelnut ice yeah, coffee. Happened? I spilled a full coffee onto myself. I don't smell it, but you know. No, I yeah. smell Let it. Let me oh, smell yeah. your you know balls. What? Get in here. Yeah. Get in here. Get, get out. You know, <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. That's it's a, that's strong. a full hazelnut. Very strong. That's a nut. Yeah. That's yeah. not just my nuts. That's you, hazelnuts. You know what you smell like? Swear to God, I think you smell like, um, what's that candle shop with all the scents? Oh, um, uh, like a uh, Yankee candle. Yankee. Yankee. I'm okay with that. Smell like that a, could be my you smell. smell like a Yankee candle, like fall, like pumpkin, like what See, have it's, you. I'm off of season. That's yeah. the only problem yeah. here. This, the full iced coffee spill to me, and I go to this one coffee place in um, the West Village, and they know me, and they like, it's called... Uh, Starbucks? No, yeah, this little <laughs> mom and pop shop uh, called Starbase. Like, uh, uh, Starbucks. <laughs> Do you know one time I went to Chicago, and my buddy, we were all like getting hammered. We're in Chicago, and he's like, hey, tonight we're eating big. It's this little mom and pop shop called Domino's, and we're going to go, and we're going to have the best <laughs> meal of our life. And the whole night we're going, oh, my God, I can't wait to ha- have Domino's. It's going to be great. He's like, oh, it's a Chicago staple. You're going to love it. We go back to his apartment, and he was like, yeah, we're getting Domino's. And we're like, how did we not know yeah, the whole yeah, time? The yeah. whole time, the whole night we're going, Domino's, Domino's. Domino's. Like we're chanting it. But I, I'm at Blackstone uh, Roasters, uh, whatever. And then the guy just sees me just fill a full... Spill a full and? iced coffee on myself. And? Okay, so you, at least you get to have coffee, though. It's not like you spilled it and then you had no coffee. No, no, no. They, they brought me another. out another one. And they oh, said, right. and then they did the thing like, get the f- out of here. You're in the way. Like yeah. we need to clean this. How up. did you spill it? What happened? Take full us through on the it. table outside is a little wobbly, but I'm lucky it was a black coffee. The wobbly table. What? I hate a wobbly table, but I love no sitting at this place. I sit out this place all like all day. I sit out there. Yeah. How do you guys take your coffee? Black. 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 No sugar, no nothing. Zero sugar, black. It burn. it f- the fast if I don't want to break a fast with a coffee. So I do black coffee So only. the black coffee makes it so you don't eat? Black coffee, I just feel like I can, I like to taste the coffee. There's no reason to put the extra calories in the coffee. I'm not doing coffee for- Is that even a sweetener? No, I do black, you do black, black and dry. I do like my ex-boyfriend. 
<laughs> I don't. When I have coffee, I'm not a big, a huge coffee guy, but I do black or drop of drop 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 of oat, skim, or almond. Drop of no all, sugar. All three together at one time? No, no. Oh, one or the yeah, other. Yeah, I think you put all the oh, almond and. Well, <laughs> you crazy, crazy, when I'm on a bender, I do all three drops. <laughs> <laughs> you have a crazy mix person. oat and skim, blow your fucking balls off. <laughs> you go full black with a little sweetener. Extra ice, sweet and low. Extra ice. Extra ice. Sweet That's and low. It's not 1984. I, I grandma sugars. I'm putting <laughs> sweet and low. Wait a minute. Extra ice. What is extra ice do? That's I want, like, give me. I don't want. Nothing depresses me more than the melted ice sitting at the top wait, of an iced coffee. I have to throw they're, it away. They're Gone. putting in hot coffee into ice and letting it cold cold out they're not cold brewing it no they got cold i'm saying i just right. when you, you know oh, if when it, it melts. after a while yeah. i need the ice to last the whole drink if it doesn't last the whole drink okay. i am depressed think about by picking it. yourself up a little tumbler a little, a little thermostat i don't want to i'd lose it i'd lose it the, you know i again Sponsor. What do you guys? You Bird gotta, dogs tumbler. Get a free tumbler when you order. Go use the code. Code. Hey, babe. But, yeah. I mean, those tumblers people love. Like it's, they, a, it's, it's an amazing gift. It's a whole thing. Like I do a bit about the big water bottle, like on the special. <laughs> but I've been doing it on the road. And it's just like, if you mention big water bottle, you just see like a guy and his girl, like him, like some guy like shaking his girlfriend, like you big piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. you got a big water bottle. People go, and then I'm like, how, and then you ask them, they're like, they're like, she's got the big water bottle. She's a piece of shit. And then like, <laughs> and people love calling out. If you have a big water bottle, like someone around you is like waiting to call yeah. you. Yeah. Like, I think you should leave sketch. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Like, no, look at this. I see those big jug jug Dude, ones like you got something to prove like you have to drink your ounces in body weight. Like, I hate it yeah. so I much. Oh, it, that's, yes. that's usually a company with I'm fasting. Right. I'm, I'm, fa fasting. I'm fasting. It's a health thing. It's it is you're flying a flag of a certain to let people know you're be you're better than them. Yeah. The ones with the words on the side, like that's a douchebag. I hate it. And, and I, I just think it's just like, you know, you see people and then you ask them how many ounces and they're like. 152. You're like, yeah. are you like always in the bathroom? Like, yeah. what's going on? Yeah. Dude, I saw a girl. I saw a girl did some like. There's a new challenge. Something 75. Like 75 days in a row, you do workouts and this and that. You Google 75 day challenge water poisoning. This girl went to the hospital because she drank too much water. Oh, See, that's, she was just. She, oh uh, my yeah. god. Uh, that's, yeah. TikToker said she had to go to hospital while attempting <laughs> a fitness challenge called 75 Hard. That's a story yeah, she's, only. It's, mothers. Uh, she's from Flint. That's oh, a, she's from Flint. Oh, oh yeah, okay. that's going to get you. That's, that's on her. That it's on her. Something. Yeah, she should have known. It was in the news. It's been in the news. She, yeah, she should have known. It's been a couple years now. Yeah. Um, no, that's like a story my mom would pick up and then have to reference even if you drink water. Like, you know, like nothing can be not. Like a right. mom will hear that story. Like my mom heard a story <laughs> about... I, I, I told her my laptop, I bring it into bed with me to like watch movies sure. and masturbate. Sure, yeah, yeah. So I'm course. telling my mom this and she's like, she goes, no, 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 a bed caught on fire from from a laptop being right. on the bed. And I'm like, can you not put that in my head? Yeah. Uh, like, that's not going to happen. All my mother does is stoke terror, like panic right. and terror to me. That's every text she does. But except, except yesterday she texted me an Instagram clip of a Christian R&B duo. That's yeah, wait, 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 wait. Just I just good? wanted you just to. Saying, just was like, just this is nice. I think they're and good. it was nice. Sometimes you hear like a Christian rock music, and you're like a minute in, and you're like, this is this is the new summer thing, and then yeah. you're like, well, maybe you hear the riff, and you don't know it's Christian. Yeah, yet. you don't know yeah, it's great, yeah. and then you hear a praise B, and you're like, oh. oh I gotta yeah, get out of here. I, I could have liked this. Yeah, yep. It was ruined. They had look something at, there. Look at this. Nurses are more likely to cheat on their significant other more than athletes, musicians, and DJs. Two out of three women admitted to cheating at work as well. At work. Something about being a nurse and being a flight attendant, I think it makes people horny. Maybe be, I think right. flight attendant, definitely the time zone stuff, the circadian rhythm gets messed up. But nurses, I think, because they deal with so much sick and death that they like look at their life every day and they're like, mm. am I happy at home? And then they're just getting mad at their husband or a boyfriend for something next thing you know they're sucking yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's that, how it that's, goes that's, two that's, steps away from yeah. Cock yeah that's it that's one theory or the other is just that most nurses are sluts you yeah, know it's okay. true i think also outfits hey guys by the way i just want to re real quick if you guys are looking for a great bit on nurses check out joe DeRosa's bit <laughs> oh it's a good one <laughs> <laughs> he, I think it's the outfits. Something about what a nurse wears to work to me is like a body pillow. Right. Like I want to snuggle up to yeah. the scrubs. The scrubs are just snuggleable. Yeah. 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 Okay. You know, like well, I, I, I knew a girl 
that was not a nurse. Prove at it! All, uh, allegedly! <laughs> that was not a doctor at all, but had literally like months' supply of scrubs because she would just order them online and sleep in them. And I thought about in the pandemic, I was like, this bitch has taken <laughs> like <laughs> equipment away right. from actual medical <laughs> right. first responders so she could be cute and comfy in bed. <laughs> right. But people have done that all over the yeah. world. I sleep in N95. So, uh, <laughs> so I, yeah, I sleep with a face pen. About. On your face? <laughs> on my face. <laughs> Because I, balls, I, I, sew, I, I sewed together a bunch of N95s to make my pajamas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah I, that's how I get my fire going. I, I use it as Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I make sure that I can get it warm in the apartment. Dude. You think it's because of, I, you know what it is? I think it's because I think it's because of the shifts. Anything you go in and do like a 48-hour shift, yeah. you're, you're almost living a chunk of a different life during that time. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Are yeah. you attracted to nurses and, and flight attendants? Like, I, I do, I, I find myself, they're also on stage. You know, just in the way we're on stage, and someone looks at you and goes, wow, I'm looking at them for a little bit longer. I'm getting used to their look. I think a flight attendant and a nurse, they're on stage. They walk into the room. You have well, them. You're just also looking at them and getting used to them. Well, and they're that, taking care of you. That's like a huge Floyd, thing. It's a thing you know, with counter transference, where it was like a thing where it's like obvious how like if we were sick and a nurse nursed us back to health, our body's like, I'm falling in love with this woman because she helped me. But then sometimes because you're falling in love with her or him, it gets counter transferred back. They start to fall in love I, with you. It's like a actors, phenomenon. That's what happens with actors. That that's I when people understand. start dating in the movie when they play love right. interest in a movie. Right. Uh, have you ever been on a flight and you're sitting there and you're like, this flight attendant's the most gorgeous woman I've ever yeah. seen. And then you're like, she's not fucking me. I'm in Delta Comfort. Yeah. Like there's no yeah, way. Like, don't you, you, like, <laughs> like, it's, not, it's not like she's going to be like, no, get away from me. First class successful people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in Delta Comfort being like, wow, do you think we could fall in love? Yeah. It's like, in what world is she like, get away from me, businessman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might be the happy medium, right? Because I'm doing, you, I'm you on might the rise. have really pretentious people up in the front. Mm. People that maybe don't have a, a lot of motivation all the way in the back. Just saying, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe. I'm just saying maybe. Like the, for this fun, that's what for this theoretical. calls you the unmotivated. <laughs> but I've been the there. Boarding I've been motivated there. I've now. been there. But you're, you're right. You're a happy mix. <laughs> yeah, you know? right. I, I was a flight attendant. I, I target comfort, actually. Yeah. I would love if they started calling the the lesser classes the unmotivated. <laughs> yeah. I would die if they're like, I, okay, I we're going to say they were. First I, class. Said, I said in a nurse's head, <laughs> and then she Delta might comfort. assume. <laughs> then the unmotivated. Unmotiv Thank you, Sal Volcano. <laughs> yes. Unmotivated. <laughs> practical jokers for inspiring. Unmotivated this. lane five. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> for all the pigs and unmotivated. At the, at the group, at, yeah. at, the, at the people with children, people that are, yeah. need extra help, active military, right. want that, uh, you know, million mile members. <laughs> first, group two, group three, group four, group five, and the Unmotivated. Yeah, unmotivated. unmotivated. And they're all like, yes. And these Sal Volcano unmotivated. Yeah, they, and they all, all walk just give, up. you all just give a, they, there's no overhead space for the unmotivated. Right? We know you guys didn't pack much. <laughs> <laughs> you guys slept in too much. You didn't really yeah. get ready. Yeah, they don't even give you food. They just give a jar of food and just <laughs> chips. And they're like, this is for the it's unmotivated. Like, it's like astro astro fight it's astronaut food. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Just like, that's good for the next few trips. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I just would love that to get attached to you. Uh, I used to be this big Sal fan, then he's just started. Oh, Sal, so yeah, he would fly once a year. I, I'm saying if she's looking at you in that way, if she's looking at you in that way, right. that would that would mean that she's looking at the people behind you in a different way. I, but I'm saying as far as what makes you attractive to a woman, yeah, you go, you know, you go. Okay, well, why would? She what if you were like a, a shark, right? Okay. You're wealthy, but uh, first class was sold out, and you need to get somewhere on that need flight. Well, that, you can't that's judge quite a comfort a story by its she cover. Has created yes, to right. convince herself to want to be with me. All well, right, you have to think too. All day, every flight, they must get hit on. That, well, that is constantly it, getting hit on. If you're a semi-attractive person, it's gotta suck. I've it's never hit on a suck. flight attendant. I will say, one time I was on a flight with my dad, and a, an attractive. The only time in my life, an attractive flight attendant walked over to talk to us, knelt down, and then just talked to us like for like a half hour, and kept coming back and kept talking to us the whole flight for no reason. And then at the end, she gave me her number. Really? Wow. Yeah. And I was gonna call. Were her. you in first class? Of course you were. I, I don't recall. You were not in unmotivated class. I don't recall. Yeah. I don't recall because I don't remember when it was. <laughs> right. But it, it probably was within the last 10 years, so maybe we were. Right. I don't know. If I was flying with my dad. That's a, that's I was, a, maybe that I was. Is, if I'm flying with my dad. That's a special moment, though. Like, yeah, my dad flight. was like... Oh, my God. Your dad was like, never this doesn't it. happen. I didn't, right. This has never happened before. And she was pretty, very, very pretty. Yeah. Yeah, very good looking. But yeah. uh, I never called her. And if you're, if you're, if watching, you're listening, you know, if you're out there, you know, I'm... 
you know, our two, time hey, is, I, I know you can't. You, instead of calling Sally, call Jared Freed. He's got a new special <laughs> coming out called 37 and Single. That's right. On Netflix, baby. When does it come out? August 15th. August 15th, August this puppy 15th. comes out. So it's coming out in what? Two weeks from now. Two, three weeks from now, it's coming out. 37 and Single. It's out there. It's on Netflix. Go watch. Go enjoy. It's all fun and games. It's, Dude. You know. It's Just uh yeah, it's a good pop. time now because they're not making nobody's making any original new content, so you got nothing else new to watch. You might as well watch Jared Freed's special. <laughs> Huge plug, <laughs> yeah. So you might as well. <laughs> yes. You got nothing. Yeah. You got nothing. <laughs> wow, you're all, you're my, all I'm unmotivated. Touched. Or as Sal yeah. describes you every day, <laughs> if, you're on, if, you're on, if you're unmotivated, go back and watch the, the all of our episodes previous yeah. to this one. <laughs> now here's the, here's the thing. The big news of the day. That's straight is, up a fish with regular human teeth. I'm looking at a fish <laughs> with regular, straight up, nice, yeah, regular human nice teeth. Nice human teeth. But, uh, but I'm looking at that upper and I'm saying that that might be nice to stick your pee pee into. Yeah. Um, the, upper right, is, the, di <laughs> the dichotomy of teeth on this fish. Yeah. It's gums and straight up, very nice, white, straight yeah, human it's teeth. It's veneers on the bottom, crackhead on the top. <laughs> <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now, what the uh, close related to the piranha, but with human like teeth. Yeah. So this brings me to a point because we got big, we got, because when you look at Something like that, you say, uh, literally out of this world, and then it's human teeth. Make no mistake, it doesn't look like human teeth. It's Those human. are human teeth on a fish. Those are fully human. That had, that thing is bicuspids. So, <laughs> so, but that brings me. It needs some braces. Th but that brings me to what I want to talk about today. Is the biggest news of the century came out today. That I'm have as, a as tweeted out by Nicole Snooky Polizzi. Snooky, Snooky, I saw this. Snooky told me this. I, Snooky said, and then I said, What is going on? Snooky said, I saw this tweet. She said, I literally want to cry with what is happening at the UFO hearing. History! Finally, <laughs> the public gets to hear what we've all known and thought. Snooky, I'm fing with you. I've been thinking it too. The Congress today, the United States of America, the number one country in the world. Jared's wearing the flag on his shirt. You better watch this special or else you're a <laughs> communist. They announce aliens are real. This listen, is well, listen under to oath. this. Listen, today? listen today? Yeah, today. Under listen oath. to this. And, and look at the people in the background. We lost Sinead today. We lost Sinead today to the and who well, she said so I she, gotta get out of here. Yeah. She, you know, the aliens are coming. I, yeah. Listen to this. This is from he's an I I I I'll have a panic attack. This podcast sponsored by BetterHelp. Better Let me help. tell you something. Go, Trusting babes. yourself to make decisions that align with your values, it's like anything. The more you practice it, the easier it gets, babe. And that can be done with therapy, okay? You have to make tough choices in life. Sometimes you need a little guidance. You don't have to go at it all by yourself. So if you've been thinking of starting therapy or ever thought about therapy, why not give BetterHelp a try? All you got to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and you switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. The whole thing is online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. They can't make it any easier. Mm -hmm. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Where do we got to tell them Visit to go? Visit BetterHelp.com slash HeyBabe today and you'll get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash HeyBabe. Babe, you know about the Game Time app, yes. last minute ticket deals. I use really it. guarantee them. You get to see where you're sitting from the from the viewpoint of your yep. seat. Yep. I love it. I'm about to. I don't know if I can go see uh, this Rock the Bells concert okay. on August 5th, and it's going to be a last. It's going to be a Game Time decision, which is. Yep. And I'm honestly, I'm waiting to use this app on that day. Well, also, what I love most about them is, you know, you, you don't have to plan months in advance anymore. You, the Game Time app has deal has tickets on deals right up to the day of the event. But the biggest thing, they have the Game Time guarantee which means you'll always get the best price. If you find tickets in the same section and roll for less, Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. That's humongous. They have flash deals uh, and last-minute ticket deals. Easy to find for any event, by the way. It's not just sports. It's concerts. It's comedy. Yep. It's theater. It's anything near you. Uh, forget planning months in advance. Game Time has deals on tickets right up to the day of the event. Yes, I'm going to go. I'm looking for Salsa Windfall tickets, and I'm going to use Game Time. <laughs> Shout out Joe DeRosa. Buy tickets in a matter of seconds, two taps, and you're all set. They're sent directly to your phone, so you never have to dig through an email. Snag the tickets without the stress with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code HEYBABE for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply, of course. Again, all you got to do is create an account, redeem code HEYBABE, $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last-minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. You've stated that the government is in possession of potentially non-human spacecraft. Based on your experience and extensive conversations with experts, do you believe our government has made contact with intelligent extraterrestrials? Something I can't discuss in public setting. Guilty! Right. 
Um, That's a yes. Okay, I can't ask when you think this occurred. <laughs> um, she looks like an actress. We have Who's the actress she craft, looks like? Uh, she does. Earlier, do we have the bodies no, of the it's, who piloted this know. craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. It's pretty amazing. If you could pause this for two um, seconds. It's pretty amazing. I'm like, this is probably the biggest news we've ever heard in our lives. Like, and I'm going, who's that hot actress? <laughs> yeah. that well, I know you're thinking, you're thinking like... Ms. Mace. Hmm, she's not married. No, she's no, no I wonder ring if she has on. an OnlyFans. Yeah, what's going on? Those glasses, she, are those super glasses are hot. out of this world. <laughs> but to me, <laughs> they're like UFOs exist. Uh, we're all going to die. She is so hot. <laughs> I that's love like that hair. movie, Don't Look Up, Leonardo DiCaprio. That movie, Leonardo DiCaprio, Don't Look Up, when the asteroid is coming, they're all like not giving a shit yeah, at right. all. The news just talking. I mean, this is all, the, all they're talking about today is Hunter Biden's trial. Right. They're talking about everything else, but they're not talking about this. But I think that's on purpose. They want to like release it, but not make it a big deal. I'm I'm literally I, I, I'm not good. I'm not good with this kind of stuff. Right. So what's going on right now today? For so, real. Okay, what, so what's let, happened? Let, what let, happened let, today? Let me just and, and again, I'm going to paraphrase a lot of the stuff that I'm going to tell you. We can go deep dives in. I I don't know it like the back of my hand, but what I'm about to tell you is 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 what I think is the truth and what I think most of the can world. Can we read this article? Go ahead, please. We can read it. But what basically that, that he's an ex he's an ex U.S. intelligence official okay. that's come out with government permission to say yes, we recovered spacecrafts, we recovered biologics, meaning alien bodies that we don't know exist that we you know that that we've had them. Now the big thing in from Joe Rogan down to even very respectable people like people Snooky. like this. All like Snooky, <laughs> yes. yeah, like, like Snooky. But they all think they all think that the real reason that all this happened started happening in the 1930s, and the real reasons that we had to stop the Nazis and what the the thing that the Nazis were about mostly was they got the alien technology, all this technology and stuff first, and with Antarctica and all this stuff that happens in Antarctica, all the countries of the world they're always drilling in the ice in Antarctica, and they think a lot of this. Stuff was in the hands of Nazis, Nazi technology. Von um, von Braun, the top scientist who made the V2 rocket, Einstein, von Dutch, von Dutch, made the hats, um, von hats. Holland. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they all think that they had this alien type of technology, and it's been kind of known for a long time and kind of simmering up to the public. But today, a lot of people think like that's why Snooky's crying is it's the <laughs> first day that like the government has finally admitted like yes, you know we've been kind of throwing it out there a little bit but now it's starting to become very real yeah this is all very scary oh my god look at this a former air force officer and intelligence official told congress wednesday he believes the government is hiding captured ufos and claimed he could not reveal whether anyone was murdered yeah, to this, keep the secret this contained is, this is the guy david grush this is the guy who was just on that video and he was on tv and now they got him under oath so he, and he's basically saying all this stuff he's under oath yeah. that's the thing so the government had to allow that he's under oath okay but could not reveal whether so that's telling you right there that the government could have murdered someone to keep this a secret from it. I love our country. I'm wearing that American flag on Jared Fried. It's on my heart right now. Right. I love this right, country. Right. I am as American as it gets. You will never hear me say a bad word. But what you have to understand about America is we're no different than Russia, sure. North Korea, anybody no, I know else. That. We just do it in a different, more well, cute don't. way. But we will absolutely murder people. That Government will murder people that get in the That's way. That's not just movie stuff. No, 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 no. I'm not agreeing with the government murdering people to hold this secret in. But wouldn't you say that we don't really have the ability to like I'm going to get in trouble for news. saying unmotivated, and he's not going to get in <laughs> yes. trouble for saying the government murders people. But God, continue. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, yeah. right. Anytime somebody's Sound. unmotivated, we're just going to call them 38D. <laughs> <laughs> They're a 38D. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, do you think we have the... Like, the fact that like the people that come out and are like, see, yeah. don't they look like the most unhinged, 100%. awful people? Like, yeah. I don't want Snooky to be like, I've been telling you. Yeah. It's like, yeah, anyone could have been like, yeah. there are aliens. Anyone could have said well, that. Well, the government the probably saw that tweet. They were like, Snooky, retweet, Snooky tweeted, retweet that one. <laughs> right, get the out, because then at least it takes some of the some stink off Hunter Biden. Half Joe the, was like, get <laughs> Snooky's tweet up there. Half the, pe half the people who say they've seen any UFO, their glasses are like this. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, yeah. No, I saw it. I, I was there. Yeah. Right, we don't need, and it's like, we look how we handled the pandemic. We didn't come together. No. It wasn't Independence Day. Remember Independence Day? in that movie they had all the flags of all the countries yeah. Yeah. on the side of the F-15s and we're yeah. like yeah the world we yeah. did it yeah. we love each other yeah. none of that happened yeah and then the guy who saved the world was Randy Quaid
Snookies may be our Randy Quaid. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you, there is no, in my opinion, there is no coincidence at all that the day they announced this is also the day Hunter Biden <laughs> is is had to go to court and pled not guilty because the, it's all distraction tech it's all You think it's more important to distract us from Hunter Biden than it is to distract us from aliens? I think yes, I think that the I think that the the president, the president will do what he wants to save his son and be like, you know what? At this point, your son's got to go. I, I, I like, like I, I, I can't believe, like, we have, I, I'm more afraid of the capacity of humans to handle this than I am the aliens who might show up. Right. You know, they've been kind of observing us for all these well, years. But, but, What's the, you know, let them observe. The, if we're the zoo animals, fine. Well, if here's the is, thing. Here's the thing is, is a lot of people believe, too, that, aliens probably have been here amongst us for a long time and that we're not all the same species that why Lizard why does people. an alien have to have look like what you see in the movies right. it could look like that in some form but could also have had the form that we are all it, we could be it yeah. well, i love what colin quinn says he goes what if the aliens are all the dumb people that's true oh no yeah that's really well <laughs> you mean like the unmotivated yeah Thirty-eight D. That's yeah. it. That's Let's that's not calling the aliens the unmotivated. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get now that, out of this. Now that aliens are real, like what are the pyramids? What is oh, what is yeah. God? Well, that, well, well, that's but that's the thing is, is you think people people are so emotional. That's the thing people hold on to their pre-existing views and fight even harder to hold on to them. So like the God people are going to be more God godly. You right. know, they're going to revert to their corner of the God, you know, ring. Right. right. I don't think this gets better. It's not like we find other aliens and the God people go, I right, do whatever you want with your bodies. You right. know, like, like right. I don't think this makes, oh, Dude, like, fuck it. it. But it matter. should. Everything, it, it should, it you would think. You would say, okay, there's literally life everywhere and we don't know about it. All bets are off now. Right. Yeah. You would think. Yeah. I don't think. I don't How think are we the, judging anybody? Well, then I don't think the preacher stops preaching. Yeah, right. my when the whole ch Catholic Church scandal broke with like they were like boys right. my age at the time it happened when I was 12 13 years old my mother's such a devout Catholic she took me a beautiful little 12 13 year old boy with blonde hair she took me to church to pray so I'm like <laughs> you took me into Right. You so hard right. me up because she's so I know devout. where we can go to be safe. She's so <laughs> devout, so it's, right. it's unwavering that it won't matter. But I think much like you know, uh, but to me, Hunter, because aliens is a religion too. Hunter Biden is a religion at this uh, point. Sure, you know, like whether you're for or against him and whatever. Dude, you know, weird one of the way. girls he was pictured with, like she used to be at the Comedy Cellar all the really? time. Yeah, one of the girls is at the Comedy Cellar. All the time, like weekly at one point. That, uh, the people that are there weekly, I, that kind of makes some sense, too. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, the people that are like, I go to the cellar every day. You're like, you don't need that much comedy in your yeah, life. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. might, yeah, there's you know, an issue. You, there's something off. So my question for you guys is, how does aliens change your life at all? I think that the only way aliens would change my life <sighs> is kind of what Jared's saying is because I'm not as devout, it would kind of make me be like, well, then religion and all that things that we were taught, then it obviously can't be real. Mm -hmm. And I think it would just fundamentally change some like structure in the way I think about things. And, you know, I'd have to wonder if I'm into aliens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. How does this change my I, game? Well, yeah, it's no, interesting. I actually my, I would be. I would be. I, I, you would I, be? I, yeah, no, I would be. I, and I thought about this before in the past. Before no I even matter what knew they, they look they like, real. you could be sexually attracted uh, to them. No, not no matter what they look like. Right. It pens their Perfect. aesthetic. It's pen, <laughs> aesthetic pending. Okay. Right? Aesthetic pending. <laughs> look, from, from when Wedding Crashers, when, uh, when, when, when he, Owen Wilson um, tr uh, touches the mom's boobs. You know, what's that actress? Like the older lady, Christopher <laughs> Walken's that? wife's okay. boobs. And, he, like, and then she like snaps out of it. Like she doesn't, she just wanted him to touch and she goes, she goes, she goes, pervert. <laughs> and I just said that when you said you'd be into aliens, I went, pervert. I, I would be because like, I, I, I really think that we need something else really. Another you know, option. Like I, I, this yeah, is another yeah, option yeah. on the table. Just, why not? Why options are good. Listen, you don't know, you know, and also like we talked about aliens on this thing before, right? but today is the thing. It's out, right? Look, yes. Uh, ask whether the government had possession of such things as UFOs. Absolutely. Based on interviewing 40 witnesses over just the last four years. Yes. I know the exact locations where the UFOs are kept and those were provided to the inspector general. Right. Non-human spacecraft. In what spacecraft. world is this a better thing for us to, like why, here's what I don't understand. Like, you know, we lived our life, like were the 90s that bad for like these older right. people? Who the like, hell is that? Miss Luna. Oh, Miss Luna. I like Miss Luna. I want her to.
That's Pro Chris's me. type. This oh, is, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I, right I see that. I Chris see that, and I see, I see problems for the rest of my life, and I'm saying, sign me up. Yeah, that's that's yeah. A, that's the matador holding a red flag <laughs> yeah, yeah. for Chris. Do yeah. we have bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? She followed up. As I stated publicly, publicly bio, bio, biologists came with some of these recoveries. That means they have aliens. Yeah, so it's not just a spacecraft. And he says they're non-human. Oh my god! See, this is the thing. This is what I wonder. Like, were the '90s so horrible for this guy that he's like, I gotta change things up. I, I gotta tell people about the aliens. Like, right. remember when we <gasps> just went to Olive Garden and had a nice night? Unlimited press we, Right, and now we have to live in a world like, and we had cable TV, right. and there were no phones, and like, were things that bad that we need this now? Why don't Why don't we want to keep life going as it was? I I, I do want to, and I don't like this information. What did you and just find out? I what am did you riddled with anxiety on the reg, and now this is just going to add to it. What happened? Well, uh, okay, uh, he did allege that he had quote unquote personal knowledge of people who've been harmed or injured in efforts to cover up or conceal right. these extraterrestrial technologies asked whether he had faced any retaliation or reprisals himself he said he had but declined to say more citing there is an investigation on the way it was very brutal and unfortunate some of the tactics they used to hurt me both professionally and personally to, oh my god i know that's the, he's saying the government they, but why yeah, but would they let these guys that? are just like why bitches would and is like that, he just though. bitches <laughs> about everything <laughs> where it's like the government his wife i went i was like the government with me well yeah. it's, it like, does, you know, dude, it's like no maybe they I, I people have big egos they the government probably doesn't care about him at all any any misfortune he's had in his life he's like the government's fucking with me what if the government came out today and they're like all of it's true here are the aliens. Show you. Today. And Biden unzipped his face. Uh, he's a big lizard. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, here's. Well, would, would, do you think we go? Do people go into work tomorrow? Uh, um, I think what's going to happen. Uh, we said this. We have proof of me saying this three years ago. I think what's going to happen is we're about. Uh, people feel we're on the precipice of a world war. I think that the governments, the powers that be, might unite us all. The only way to unite us is to have an alien threat. So we as a world stave off our own domination. We have to now fight these people. But guess what? These people, these aliens, are going to be government psyops disguised as aliens. I think that's part of the plan. Jesus that is a Lord. wild theory. Yeah, my, name's Randy, my name's Randy Quaid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna send you up the fucking poop shoot of Dude, the I alien would do it. I, I, to I, save us all. But I think that you probably some of this stuff coming. I think really in the next few. The I don't. Same. I what? Not for the best of our nation. This is for humanity. There you we go. Need to understand the magnitude of what this means for humanity. This is an issue of government transparency. We can't trust a government that doesn't trust its people. Okay. Could you imagine literally like in the 2024 election, it's, you know, Biden, Trump or DeSantis, and then there's an octopus running. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how crazy it gets. Like, we're like, we're going to elect an octopus. Yeah, we're like, we got, listen, the octopus is, says some crazy shit. I'd hang out with the octopus. Dude, you, you know, know what like, octopus, an octopus has, they think not only do an octopus. I stopped eating them, I stopped eating them because they're too intelligent. Still, not only are octopus really? is as smart Before as us. I knew they, they were intelligent, they think I, was, they're I was house and octopuses they on the They think they're reg. smarter than us. They have brains. Every tentacle you eat, it's the, one of their brains they have like a hundred brains in one arm yeah you crazy can't, shit you dude can't, you can't do it uh, they think they're aliens they think they came from another planet and were dropped here in the bottom of the ocean they think there's many scientists that do not think they originated on planet earth that they came from somewhere else because nothing else is like them their intelligence is so superior what do you, well i've only seen them choose the super bowl winner like what, what do you mean? mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I see mean, one do like a puzzle. Yeah, a puzzle? Yeah. How are they? I mean, are they doing math? Like, no, yeah. like a like a box. Like a, like a like a, it was like um you know like taking a box out yeah, of another box. Yeah, I've seen those types of things, but like yeah, and then and, and then, you know and, and, how many brains? Yeah, and then one you know one of them uh, wrote a screenplay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah they, I, they're striking against letting octopuses, you know, write movies. But yeah. I mean, dude, it, it is. It's. Did you? What about well, the, the Vegas the, aliens? Did you hear about the Vegas aliens? That alien? one was wild. Yeah. That, that, that was, was the people. one a few weeks ago, right? The, the Vegas aliens. The alien. guy said the things eight to ten feet tall. It's not human. It's in our yard. I'm looking at it right now. Right. And you saw Imagine that it was one. Charles, it was just Charles Barkley. <laughs> 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 and, and but then the next day, right? You didn't hear from them. You didn't hear any more about the story. You didn't hear about the. You didn't. It was totally, totally silent after that. No, it came out. It was wild, and then, it, and then, yeah. not another word. And these people have not come out and said anything, which means one of two things: the government they, gets they, them. They came out. Let me find it. They did. The te the teenager of the family came out. Okay. And made a Reddit video. 
Okay. We have, why is it so hard to find these people after well, these well, things? But because I think one thing that's happening is, too, with the this, I think the, government, them I think the government has to start to tell us the truth now because I think as you know, uh, excited as we're getting about this, government officials have known about this for 50 years, but it was so much easier to contain. You can't contain it anymore when everyone has a camera, a so camera, they have to get right. ahead of it. But I will yeah, say, Snapchat ruined it for aliens. I will yes. say there should be like a Me Too movement for people who are abducted. Or discredited because they believed in aliens before yeah, now. Right. Think about all the stories we heard that were probably for, probably true, and they they were they were discarded as kooks. You can't listen to them. That's not real. So my daughter now goes to a Catholic school on Staten Island. So like mm. that's like going to Catholic Praise school be. like in the eighties. Like be. it's it. They are they are not. You are they're you know they're progressive, but it's like it's not. They are they're, they're old school. Progressive for the eighties. Yes. Yeah. yeah they're, they're old school. They're not. It's not going to be about you know the, any of the new shit. It's like old school stuff. And she in her school they talk about how there's probably more life in other planets. Uh, more more they're life in to, the other. Yeah. They're willing to say there's more life elsewhere. Yes, and then in a Catholic school. Because it's so school. obvious. So my daughter right. now, how we won't eight, nine years old be like, no way. Yeah. There could never be. She's the opposite. And my 13-year-old stepson is like, oh, of course. Like, he sees the YouTube videos. It's well, they've very. Always, they've always kind of said that, like, the, the, the numbers are too large for it to not it's exist. Im it's an impossible. It's impossible. They've always kind of said that. That it's right. impossible for there not to be anything out there. Right, right. Like, but what, they, what, what they've also said is how it's very possible that we may never interact ever in history right. because they, they use the example of an ocean. They were like, if I, there's so much life in the ocean. They were like, we can right. all agree there's life right. in the ocean, right? They said, well, the expanse of the universe would be like the Atlantic Ocean times a billion, right? right? right. So they said, if I put, if I went into the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and I dropped a bucket into the middle Atlantic Ocean, and all I pulled out was water. If you make the assessment, say because of this one bucket, there's right. no life. You're an idiot. He right. said, "Well, that's what it is with the universe." But there, the the nearest fish from where I am could be so far away, I'll never be able to get a bucket down low enough to get it. And that's why you may or may not ever run into this. But meanwhile, other life. if they've gotten here, we have to un we have to believe that they are more intelligent than us, right? Right. right. But they've also crashed and. We have them captive. I don't know if we have any alive. That, that well, would be wild. You also see this other theory that it's like us from another dimension. There's a lot of that. So what do you like, mean? That like there's parallel timelines and they've found a way in that timeline to like. Well, that's quantum the, stuff now. Right. They've made their way here and they go, well, I can't really say that because they know no one here will believe them. So like that's like another option. So like people that are like like do like Warren Buffett could be from another plant because he does well in the stock market right. things like that. Something like that. Where but it, that or, might be just a way that we have to rationalize us not being as good as someone else. Right. You I, mean, I mean, I don't know, but there's uh, there's other options here. What do they say? The quant the hydron collider. They say that that's the day shit got shifted. Right. But there's people that say like the minute they did that collider thing. What, you know what, what I'm talking about? What the, did that look happen? Look up the collider. The day there's like a genius out there. There's this kid. I saw a video where he was like, "Yeah, the minute that happened, like we are on a different right playing field than we were really on. yeah like Hadron <laughs> Collider broke reality. Okay, right, right. So so they're saying that uh, take apart plant, we dissect organisms. Blah, blah blah. Simply put, the collider allows scientists to make particles smash into one another so they can study the effects. And this was a few years ago that this went down, and they're like saying that like the minute that happened, like. Shit went awry. Uh, okay, here we go. Built over the course of 10 years between 98 and 2008. Uh, 10,000 scientists. 17 miles circumference. This is a big boy. Keep going. Let's find out what it actually did, though. Uh, even with all the great minds. Uh, uh, yeah, something because, because there's that. And then there's also that machine that people have that they say is in the Vatican where you can look into it and look back into history and they say it's only in the Vatican in the vault deep in the Vatican yeah, that's, so that's that's how you sell tickets right. Sell tickets. right right yeah they're like oh yeah they're like listen we got kids on one side but which <laughs> hey don't worry about that but you want to look into the past right you want to see what it was like in ancient Rome come yeah. sit on Papa <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how about this though right there's it also stands to reason that any of the stuff they have recovered is not necessarily from the same time or place, and it's not necessarily the same alien. Mm. They could have All right. they could have twenty different types of aliens, different types of ships that have, have landed here, and they're from, like, "Oh, we got another. One. It's a, a bird, an alligator, all different." It's possible species. that this alien didn't even know about that alien, right? And they're going, "What the? F 
Right. Oh, you know so you're saying? saying like the aliens who both landed here, like, who? what are you? Yeah, right. who are you? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was the, watching them. We're the okay. bus stop. Okay, here's the theories about CERN, which is the, the thing that Jared said, the collider. Caused earthquakes by sending plasma from Switzerland to Italy at high speeds, opening portals into hell or other dimensions, and shifting the world into an alternate timeline. In 2015, CERN even admitted it attempted to create tiny black holes so scientists can study antimatter. CERN insists its research, including that of microscopic black holes, is perfectly safe safe, but some theorists believe it could cause a collapse of the entire universe. <laughs> <laughs> Sal, Sal, if you weren't feeling stressed before. Oh my God. <laughs> the universe. The universe. Yeah, right. what? So one person is like, it's safe, and one person is like, it, it will it cause will the collapse right. of the universe? Well, and we're this? sitting here. Like yeah. We're sitting here I'm well, dude, with a picture nothing. of you two pegging what each about, other above us. I this know. is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're doing. Well, this is what we do. A last day on Earth. Yes, that's uh, what it is. <laughs> <laughs> the, or what about the direct energy weapons? You know about those, the dudes? No. Pull up direct energy weapons. <laughs> what is See, this? Is, I don't know why I, I don't came know on if this I want to be here I, anymore. Yeah, yeah direct it's too ener- much. Direct, this is, hey, babe, direct energy weapons. They think that this has actually been causing earthquakes and hurricanes, and they, the governments of the world are now can now truly control the weather. Like, truly, direct energy weapon. Damages. I don't target. like that it's do. Yeah, it's, lasers, know, too microwaves. Close to Jew. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Direct the dudes, energy the weather. Dudes That's why they think the it's weather. the Jews. The they, Jews control yeah, the weather. The Jews. They, this is the, the Jews got caught in this crossfire. Uh, yes. They were the, like, oh, the Jews. They no, supposedly the been, <laughs> They supposedly been using them. Countries have been using them, and they don't want to get it into the yeah the LRAD. That's like, dangerous. We need to eradicate the Jews. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> No more dues. This is right. this no is, more dues. This is why. It was a misunderstanding. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Hitler was like, I said the dues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a high-range <laughs> weapon that damages its target from focused energy? That sounds a little dewish to me. <laughs> it's very do. Uh, yeah. In it, but in all seriousness, uh, if we so he, let, let, me, let me let me let me pose this question. Now we've talked about this already, but like if we're able to capture them, right? Because they, they didn't just crash and we have dead ones, right? People have seen real ones, right? So that means that we captured them. Bird dogs. Bird dogs started with us a while back. Yes. And they just, tweet, tweet, they popped back in rough, yep. rough. Yep. That's their new, yeah. their new logo. Uh, their new, uh, what, soundbite for bird dogs should be tweet, tweet, rough, rough. It should be tweet, tweet, rough, rough. And dude, bird dogs, they got those khaki shorts that function. They're like the best chair of gym shorts. You put them on, the material stretches around you. Yes. I, the bird dog... And I love that they got the underwears in the shorts and in the pants. I literally, I go freaking commando when I'm. The only thing is, is now my shit stains are directly on my pants That's and shorts. That's a problem for you. That's yeah. what happens. But my, bird dogs be comfortable as fuck. Comfortable as fuck, and they got this uh, ball sweat technology stuff where like my nuts it, never smell. It wicks it away. It wicks it away. It's magic, magic shorts, dude. Magic bird, pants. They sent me a box. They sent me a box. It was like Christmas. Yeah. It's, they made it's such quality the way they made. And if you don't love birds and don't love dogs, then get away from me anyway. So they combine the two and you can get i dude that's the thing you're gonna get a free tumbler with this promo code but that tumbler that they send it to me that's awesome it's what i use every day every day and it keeps the stuff hot or cold for like yes. hours and it fits in the cup holder that's yes, important that's huge don't go to birddogs.com slash hey babe and enter promo code hey babe for a free tumbler with your order it's a quality one i have two of them yes that's birddogs.com slash hey babe and promo code hey babe for the free tumbler and check out their clothing yeah What's up, everybody? Aliens are real. They finally got unveiled by Congress. So what better time to come see me do stand-up comedy? ChrisDComedy.com for Tiki Wikis. August, we're in Atlantic City. September, we're in L.A., Portland, Seattle, New York City, baby. Woo-hoo! Radio City and theater at MSG. And then Las Vegas to round out September. October, we're back in Los Angeles. Then we're in Nebraska, Kansas City, St. Louis, Chicago, Raleigh, North Carolina. And then November, go check them out. ChrisDComedy.com for Tiki Wikis. We also just just put Nashville and Washington, D.C. on sale, baby girl. Woo! If you're listening to this right now and you are in Nashville, I am here. I'm playing the Opry House tonight with the guys. <laughs> 
ImpracticalJokersLive.com for tickets. Tomorrow we will be in uh, the Gamebridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, and we're rounding it out Saturday at the Stifle Theater in St. Louis for two shows. Grab those. But I am back on tour after that because I'm filming my special in Chicago in December, and we are going to be at the Hartford Funny Bone, the Syracuse Funny Bone, the Albany Funny Bone, all by September. And then we're hitting Bowling Green, Kentucky, Cincinnati, Toledo, Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania, Wilmington, Macon, Georgia, which I was corrected about many times. Savannah, Athens, Georgia. I'm coming through you. Mount Pleasant. Uh, there you go. And then Peoria, Rockford, Cedar Rapids, Springfield, Illinois, Duluth, Minnesota, Appleton, Wisconsin, which just went on sale. So you get those tickets. They're still good ones. Rochester, Davenport, and Elkhart, Indiana. They're all on sale right now. They're all going to be before the end of this year. SalVolcanoComedy.com for tickets. And you know what? Check out some Hey Babe and uh, some Taste Buds merch on our website. We got some good merch, so you should go there if you're a fan and buy something. Don't be... Okay, so first of all, if they have access to viewing us uh, for some time, I, th they're more intelligent than us. So why, why would they be able to land here, even in a crash, which means that there are faults in what they do, but like then be able to be captured and not communicate back or overcome us? If someone went to them to detained them and they You're were right. these beings that could fuck shit well, up it could be. we would have had an intergalactic war already maybe it's we the haven't. same as us maybe we're like we don't want this guy going out and talking to congress they don't want their guys talking to their people they're like we'll, right we'll we'll go crazy too right maybe there's like kind of like an admission of like we can't handle it you can't handle it keep to your side and we'll keep to our side because both of our species will go nuts right so maybe that's a part of it where they're like if you get left there, we're leaving. You're done. Like, we can't handle bringing you or back. Maybe, sure, but, or but maybe they're mean, like explorers, like how our we would have explorers that would go out like before. Like Magellan. We, yeah, like if right. Ferdinand Magellan. If you lost Magellan, he's that's gone. That's it. He's gone. There's nothing we could do. Maybe that's maybe they are that, the edge of the universe. But, right. but you would think with their advanced technologies, whether technologically or just w in, within themselves, they'd be able to fight or defend themselves. The fact that we can detain them says what? That... Like we can go one-on-one well, on one with an alien in a fight? I think Chris might be right. And the yeah. idea that like, like if Chris Columbus, like the day Chris Columbus came back, do you think they were like, you're back? Like they didn't get a cell phone call being like, right. hey, I found this whole new land. The, the, the earth is round. It's totally true. He had to come back and report what had happened. Right. So, yeah. so it's like, didn't come out right. So you, like a couple days after. Yeah. So like the idea, so like maybe that's it. They like, we're waiting on them if they come back. Yeah, to get back, yeah. But I'm saying they're coming here unarmed with no repair kit. And also, like like I'm saying, if they get out and it's like they see people surrounding them, this other life. Because also it stands to reason that maybe they're not monitoring us. You Like you just said, mm. maybe this, maybe the alien, the first time he landed here, or she, or the alien. <laughs> I'm, I'm assigning gender already. Excuse me. No. But I uh, like that you're worried about offending the alien yeah, with yeah, our yeah, language. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't want to be I don't want to be canceled this everywhere. Is, no, but yeah. this is crazy. No, but but it, but but <laughs> like, I'm motivated. I'm a motivated alien. Yeah, <laughs> we should name the episode "Unmotivated Unmotivated Dudes." <laughs> <laughs> but I would think that like they would then be there. Well, they might have not known about Earth until they saw it and crashed here, and they haven't been monitoring us. Right, per se. this but, was a mistake. But it, you're, but they can they can create something, get here, land here, be sentient of some sort, and then not have the power to defend themselves against like a farmer. Yeah, I yeah, mean, somebody in our gay military. Yeah. <laughs> what if well, they're what if they're like national park rangers? Like they can't defend themselves. Right. What do you they're, not, they're not the military. Yeah. They're, they're but what just, I mean so you is that the genetic, aliens that are here are the military. Their genetic composition is not superior then? Um, maybe they can't breathe in this atmosphere. I, I don't know. I think this was all, I think to me, this. I, I only see these stories on TikTok. Like I've never seen alien stories as much as I TikTok. do on TikTok. To me, China just wants to distract us. This is This is their way. This is all we talk about now. We're doing... Congress things like isn't there an element of like 
yeah, there's a Chinese app. I'm yeah. only seeing it there. They're like, get them all riled up about right. aliens. They're like, oh, we'll get them mad at each oh, other. There's no know? doubt that's a Trojan horse. There's no doubt. Right. About this that. is uh, and they're like, and back. You think back in China, China China's like, listen, give them aliens and Matt Rife. That's right. what we want. <laughs> they're done. That distract them. Right. And then it's over. And then do you think? Do you think they're sitting like in China, being like, hey, tell me about the alien? No, no one's. There's no discussion. Right. Yeah. Of like, what did you see? They're like, no, get to work. Right. Yeah. Are we not talking to everybody else about the aliens? Yeah, where's it the, feels like we're just where, talking about it. Yeah, why is it like, only why, us? Why isn't like a French person like, oh, uh, let me chime in. The, yeah, where's yeah, the French court? That's true. Right, yeah, we're, yeah. right. We're spending work days on this. Right, like, yeah. we should be fixing yeah. bridges. We have things yeah, to do yeah. here. Infrastructure. Yeah. <laughs> like, we have, like, why yeah. isn't ISIS making a statement? <laughs> right, <where's> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, it's. I don't know. I feel like, again, why have they only landed in the United States? They have to have landed in other places. Right. So, like, where's this, like, don't the, you think this should be a They're saying there's discussion? been treaties between between the government and and. Well, aliens. that's what Antarctica brings up. Antarctica is the only place in the world where there is no, all the countries can just go into the same area with no treaties, no negotiations, and just do some type. They all have, like, this secret base sure. that you can't go by that every country is allowed into for some reason. Really? Yeah. If you I, can we talk about, I mean, th this is the scariest topic that sh isn't, you know, people talk about this without fear now. Like, don't you, like, I, I, I'm terrified. I just want my Netflix special to come out. Right. You know, like, yeah. August 15th. Is it August 15th? 37 and single. 37 and single. Like, I, you know, you know, you, you go, like, with my kids, I'm like, I'm like, Honestly, you know, the, the eight-year-old, my two-year-old is, you know, just whatever, just running around. She's, she, my two-year-old's her new thing. She's running around going, oh, my shit. She's saying, oh, my shit. <laughs> my shit. She combined, oh, my God, and oh, shit. She goes, oh, my shit. Every time you put her in the car seat and the car starts, she'll be sitting there quiet. And then as soon as you reverse the car, she goes, oh, my shit, and puts her hands up. <laughs> it's like a catchphrase. Yeah, it's yeah like, I love it. Yeah. And, uh, and so, so she's whatever. And then my eight-year-old and 13-year-old, they already, like, this would not blow their minds because they're like, yeah, I knew that already like right. they already think they know that no but you you're you're of the mind where like look you've lived your whole life the history before us has not nothing's come to fruition yet right so you're not going to change gears and go there like you're not going to be like start to be like a doomsday or uh, you, no like you, has it gone through your head now that like oh like how do i protect my children if this no happens? because i don't think there's a way to i think it when and if that happens there's really nothing when and if. I, I, I can i can i can only control Are you a lizard person <laughs> <laughs> What's going i can on? only control what i can control so i'm like i there's nothing i'm going to be able to do if uh, that happens. Straight honestly, if one of us was an alien, we would not tell the other. And no, we may no, not no. know if no. one of us is an alien. I may not even know. I may have been programmed. I don't even know what I am. I have no yeah, idea. See, I can't I can't That's really go we've on. We've gone down I the can't rabbit go hole on. that. We don't know if we're aliens. I can't go on. You don't know anything. You could. They say that the greatest scientists in the world, the Elon Musk of the world, say that is 99.5% chance we're, we're, we are a part of some kind of video game, but we're so, the race has been so advanced that we have no way of knowing that we're in the game. I'm okay. Okay, just let me go to Olive Garden. But and that's get part the of the game. Sticks. Why that's do I have to be at the last level? Right. <laughs> right. Why right, can't right, I right. be at the fifties? Like, no, like you know, you go. Right. Why? Why am I on you know on level one, eighty? Right. Like, I'd rather and, be. And do we think that we will ever see this in our life? What What generation is is everything going to come out with? Like, you know, what I mean, is it going to be in fifty years, five hundred years? Are we going to be around in five hundred years? Like, someone is going to be here that might even be in a, in your own lineage. Right. That is going to see some right. shit go down. Who's, That's who's the unlucky one that the ball lands on? Exactly kind of the thing. Right. Like I like let me go to like I have this thing. I'm like let me just go to Turks and Caicos. Right, right. I just want to see that beach. Yeah, and then let yeah. me like Blue live water. on. I want to yeah. see my kid get married. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Why can't I be that? Right, right. Well, there you right. Generation. I gotta be <laughs> right. the fucking aliens. Are like ah, I like I gotta You're see myself be a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah. yeah. I would have liked to have been like, look, uh, color television. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? Right. Then let that be the biggest surprise. Your daughter, after you pass, could witness this and you'll never know it. I'll never know. And that's the thing is like, I, I, I so when you ask me, how do I think about it with my kids? I'm like, I don't know. I'm living in this time. I can't change it. So I'm like, whatever. They're, uh, they already feel more prepared for this than I do. They already, they are no, not. But this, this isn't good for our brains. That's no. what I keep but thinking. I, I like also, we, like it's not negative though. They could come down and just. It could be Star Wars or Total Recall. They could just join society. 
I hope that's the you know Joint Society is like Star Wars is that, that's bad. They blew up a planet. Well, Star Wars well, no, they do co- that was a, become like a coalition. That was a group of them, yeah. <laughs> you think like yeah, like you think like do they just assimilate? You don't think in? there's gonna be a subsection of aliens that will like there goes the neighborhood. You couldn't even handle like shades of skin color. Right, you know, right. Like, in what world are we handling? Aliens? Right, it's like right. I, 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 right. No, I get it. You know, yeah, that's we, I think that's why we're so pessimistic. We're like, but what if this destroys racism as a concept? As a concept. You, you re- just hate people, this, not a race. Well, you think is- it's all races? <laughs> it's all races now versus the aliens, or we just go? Oh, we didn't know anything. Or Here's the thing: as like human beings, other? here's the thing: as human beings, we're never not going to be racist. So it's either against each other or against the other things. Yeah. It's always just going to be that. Again, it becomes that thing of like everyone goes deeper. I think into their thing. They'll blame right. if they're racist. They'll blame other right. races. If they're well, if because, they're a preacher, they'll keep preaching. Well, like, I watch this thing about like you know like lineage and like evolution, and it's like you know there were many different types of humans, Homo sapiens, which is what us. But then there was like you know the Homo erectus, the Homo this, Homo that, Homo whatever. Allegedly, allegedly, <laughs> and then and then. But we are the ones, all of us, no matter what color we are, we are the ones, we are, you know, uh, uh, kind of came from the most dominant one, the most evil one, the most aggressive one. Mm. So we, no matter what we are, if we're here, we're from the most aggressive, aggressive lineage and aggressive evolution. So it's in all of us to be the meanest and the most aggressive, even the nice ones, because it's in us. If it wasn't in us, we wouldn't be here. We would have been died off already. Right. So it's this thing. So it's like this thing in us. So I, I do want to watch the kid, the video the of the kid. kid. The, the, the whistleblower <laughs> also just said... Uh, yeah, what is it? His, who is this? This kid looks like a Hey Babe fan. This is the yeah. teenage son that witnessed that Vegas alien thing. But okay. that, the guy in Congress just now... It's not just, taken down, though. No, it's still looking. He's wearing a Simpson sweatshirt. Yeah. I mean, this is who we're getting our news from. <laughs> yeah, this, guys this, in kid fucking... and, this kid and Snooky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go to this, that guy uh, to Congress said they have 100 percent known about aliens since 1932. See, 1932 because the world war, the world war, the Nazi technology. That's what it's about. During the Great Depression, that was that, probably no. It's, uh, that imagine that, those people were even more depressed so they than were, you. The whole ra- the whole thing, supposedly the whole thing about the Nazis was they had they had the not they had the the alien technology first, and that's why they were able to just steamroll over every country in Europe so quickly. Mm. And then obviously they went into the Holocaust, and they fuck Hitler went off the rails. But in, in the beginning, it was about. We have this technology, and we're going to reverse engineer this stuff. And the U.S. and the Western governments. And what did they get from that? They stopped Nukes? the U.S. They, no, I well, they uh, people think that the United States and the Western allies stopped them, and then we took it, and then we have it now. This but is- supposedly they have so much gold uh, because the thing is with Germany after World War II, they didn't just like after World War One. Germany got decimated. They were decimated. They were poor. People were dying in the streets. That's why they had to do World War II. But after World War II, they remained one of the richest countries, and they are by far the wealthiest country in Europe, and nobody knows how. So the, And it's not talked about how, but they are. Yeah. So they think it's because they have this technology that either they sold or something it has something to do with alien technology. This is a really f- way to promote Oppenheimer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, this really. is crazy. Well, like, I didn't have to go this far. I'll see yeah, the movie. That's, that's what Oppenheimer yeah. probably did. They were like, you know what? Barbie crushed us so <laughs> hard. Release the aliens and get people into that theater. They're like, fuck Margot Robbie. Right. Well, this is f***ed up. What, we don't need this. What if Hitler was an alien the whole time? What if he that's the been. bit? Yeah. He could have been. Yeah, but he now really if up is down and left dudes. is right, then yeah, I don't exactly. know how to function anymore. <laughs> I'm being serious. I'm going to have a full-on blown panic attack. All right, let's um, listen to what this... This kid kind of looks like Casey Jost if he was from Pennsylvania. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. This is my first video. I'm here to tell you what happened to me on May 1st, 2023. I'm going to try to explain the best of my abilities. This is not a conspiracy theory. I'm not making this story out for cloud or fame. I just want to tell you what happened to me and my family. And I know some people are not going to believe this, but... Each person is different. So this is what happened to me. Keep in mind, this is midnight, and I'm fixing a truck in my backyard. The Simpson sweatshirt. I'm only with my brother. Yeah. It's too and much. I hear something fall from the sky. I turn around. The only thing I, I see is a big light falling from the sky. And moments after, I feel a big impact. And a, yeah, it was and a ice. Thing, sort of like a big impact fall. <laughs> And me and my brother looked at each other, and we were scared. But the, but when the impact happened, it was sort of like a shock wave. Why does he like keep adjusting? Like an out of body experience. 
so to say when I tried to look at the object it was all blurry He's reading. not my vision but only the oh. backyard area and I hear thousands of footsteps around me wait 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 can you just back that up later, a little bit please the was gone he, he, and also, you, I don't get the sense that he's taking us for a ride here. I think I see, I see some genuine. No, this kid is genuine. I believe this kid. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. why was he kid. allowed to come on and say that? I think because he just uploaded it onto YouTube. But aren't and, they going to come in their suits? Yeah, this is on May first, by the way. This is months and months old. So why are we only hearing about it now? No, we already we talked about it. I just didn't play for you. All right. So yeah. let, let let him. When did we talk about it? Briefly, months months ago. I can't can our listeners it. listen to this? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, okay. put it, I'm gonna edit it this in. But it won't. It's okay that we they listen to this. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. This is a moment where I'm like so jealous of like my parents are like never on the internet. They like go on once a day on their computer, right? And they see like Congress talked about aliens, and that's all they see. Right. Like we right. are we are on a, a YouTube video of yeah. a guy in a Simpsons yeah. sweatshirt telling us about aliens, First and we're like hand. freaking ourselves out. Yeah. This my is parents a, are on a cruise in Italy. It. Yeah. You know, like, this is like, a straight oh, up. What are we gonna do for lunch? Yeah. You know? Straight up. First hand account. Right. Yeah. Well, let's watch it. So to say when I tried to look at See, that's what I didn't understand. He heard just a few minutes. It was all blurry. Not my vision, but only the backyard area. <gasps> and I hear thousands of footsteps around me, and maybe a couple seconds later the blurriness was gone. And here's here's the footage of the body, the police officer's body cam. And here's the object I'm the object I'm referring to, the light. Video. Okay. So where's the light in the back? That back in the sky. Oh, the dead one, dead center, that huge green light. Here's a ring camera video. You can hear the bang. This is around the neighborhood. So here's the video. So that's the bang. That's the bang. Or it could have just been a do. <laughs> so when that happened, the only thing I can see in the backyard is a tall creature, probably around. Jews are known to be in that neighborhood. Jews, they are. Very they thin. Jews brought up so everything in that neighborhood. Dad, yeah. <laughs> he went to the backyard and he saw the same thing, the same creature I saw. He told me to go inside the house. At this point, we all freaking out, me and my family. And here's the video where we were in the backyard area. You can see, you cannot see it too good, but on camera, but it's there. Here's the video. The fact that they're even standing right, there. Where's the I'd thing? Be, Where was the, the thing? Moments after the video, me and my brother went to go pick up my tools. Pick up your tools? I'd be like, <laughs> dude, I am, I am I'm leaving. I'm the, never the looking hammer. back. Yeah. Behind the forklift. So I look. Keep in mind, I'm facing the forklift, and then I see the alien creature. So when I saw it, creature. it was a tall, skinny, lengthy creature. It was a gray, greenish color. And when I looked at it in the eyes, my body just froze. Like the same way, the same experience as having sleep paralysis. Keep in mind, I'm staring at him and I look at his whole body and he has a weird looking feet and a big face and eyes and you can see a big mouth. And, and I... I could hear his loud, deep breathing, and I could see his stomach moving. He would just stare at me. Seconds later, I could start moving again. And I start running towards the house. That's when I call 911, and here's a 911 call. There's like an eight-foot person beside it, and another one's inside, and it has big eyes and looking at us, and it's still there. Okay, where is this on your property? He's got to charge. He's got to charge his phone. Yeah, guys, at four percent. Yeah, I swear to God, God, he's not a cold. He's actually weird. He's terrified. So there's, 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 there's two subjects that are in your backyard. Correct, and they're very large. Correct, they're like eight foot, nine feet, ten foot. Sounds calm. They look like they look like aliens. I'm saying, even stand there, being like, maybe I should get my big eyes. They have big eyes. I would scream. Like I can't explain it. Fainted. Came to, ran, and I would be in a mental institution right now. He's making a video for Reddit. How does he sleep? Right. Okay. Tools. He's like, I had my favorite wrench. The only thing I just didn't want to miss my favorite wrench. Would you go back for your phone? I'd go back for my phone. And I'd go back for my phone. Yeah, yeah, that. Whispering, like, you hear oh whispering. my god, I would go back. We for yeah, he's gonna go through my DM. Yeah. <laughs> on the roof. So we waited a little bit for the police. When they arrived, they told me what I told them what I saw, 
and they were kind of freaked out. Here's the body cam of the officer. Right now, mm -hmm. it's more than an hour oh, after that here. bright light. Officers here. meeting up with the caller yeah, and his hard. family. What did you see? It was like a, it was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like a long tessy top. I'm not going to BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yeah. why I'm kind of curious. Did you yeah, see anything kind of land see. in your backyard? Or they see like a big. That's what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big something with light. What I saw right now, I do believe in it. Like Police that. walk into the backyard to investigate, but Metro. So so they went in the backyard and one of the officers pointed at the floor and it was a perfect circle. Here's a photo of the circle. Police walk into the backyard to investigate, but Metro... So they went in the backyard and one of the officers pointed at the floor and it was a perfect circle. Here's a photo of the circle I'm referring to. Where's the circle? Damn. Keep in mind, that is pretty two perfect. came in my house and one of them started running to his car, driving around the neighborhood. Asking passing cars at the saw light. What's clear? They're taking this call seriously. Hey, this might sound like a really dumb question, but did you guys see anything fall out of the sky? Asking others what they yes. saw. Uh, I would normally discount it as nothing. However, um, seeing as one of my partners said they saw it too, only reason I'm actually investigating it further. Goosebumps are freaking out. He started investigating that he told me his partner she saw a light falling from the sky. He told me he believes me because her partner reported that she saw the same light as me. Now we're walking the front yard. Then the other officer came here. here. Is then there a point in this where you go, where where are the parents? But what? But like, why isn't the parents say like, like I'll he, make the video? Like, why is the kid? Yeah, but also the video? also like, were they gone uh, when the cops got there? So they were gone. So they crashed, but then, then well, but left? then but then they called the police and then they left. Do you think so? They only came quickly. The I, aliens, I mean, if, if they you, crashed and they're out looking around and stuff, they, then they mean they got back in and left because the co no one's. The yeah, they did. They must not have crashed then. What they the think, like broke outside, a sound you'd barrier have to or something. Clean up a Do you know plane? the guy? Right. Who's yeah. the guy? Bob. Um, he's like the. Yeah, Bob where's, the, where's the crash? Well, Bob Lazar thinks it is. I think it's Bob Lazar or the other one. There's a doctor, Dr. Stephen Greer. I think it's Dr. Stephen Greer. What he thinks, what he thinks the technology actually is is that they have technology to be able to be on their planet and almost, if you can imagine, like cast their shadows. Te but basically it's like their shadows where they're moving from like a safety of a pod, but they are, can f touch you and be physical, but it's not really them. Like that's what they have some kind of technology to do. And he thinks that it's all, it's all like they're, what, like then the when we, how would we have, by a well, it could be a different alien. Well, he says he, he, those ones you have like their – you don't have anything real of them. You have like their capsule. Like you're not right. going to get them because they don't ever leave where they are. That's like in Guardians of the Galaxy. They had those like, yes. ships yes, those that, ships, were like, yeah. that would do from home. Right. And then they would drive them like video games. Right. Isn't that Avatar? It's, I guess Avatar. Yeah, Avatar too, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm starting to believe that anything that Hollywood – puts out like that is in some way real because they're so connected to the top levels of the government, the top people in Hollywood, that they get creative. This is where I, the conspiratorial Jew stuff. That's what it is. Chris. This is yeah. Chris kind this of is what it is. leaning into you know his group here. hundred yeah, percent. I know my due history. <laughs> How do you just go back to life after that? Like he kid? went back he slept that night. Well he got his tools so he had he went back to work. <laughs> <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> I, I, don't, probably I, don't, to I don't like Apex any tech. of this. Yeah. At the end, his tools were his to keep. That's, uh, Do you yeah, remember that got, from when we were younger? What? The guy's like at Apex Technical. Remember those commercials, those local commercials? Oh, yeah, yeah. Where he's like, I can't call you. <laughs> Pick up the phone and call us today, and your tools are yours to keep. It was on every single yeah. commercial break for like 10 years when we were little. Yeah, and DeVry. Remember DeVry? DeVry, yeah. DeVry was big. De big. Big, big, big on the local oh, TV. Well, game. I mean, well, that, that, I that's it. There's, there's aliens. Uh, you, you can listen. You can get abducted by aliens. And when you get abducted, you can watch Jared Freed's special on Netflix. <laughs> August that's 15th. August 15th. Watch that's it with can. the aliens. You know, they'll, they, yeah. they, they'll relate to it. 37 and single. Watch it now, baby. The dues yeah. are coming one Don't. way or another. <laughs> <laughs> I got some material about dues on there. Yeah. Um, I got some, you know, stuff about body confidence and yeah. dating and relationships, all that shit, and gender reveal parties. What about any of the plugs besides the? Uh, where can they find you? Yeah, Jared Freed on Instagram. The U Up Podcast is uh, every Wednesday and Sunday. So yeah, go check it out. But go watch the special. You guys will like it, and it's all fun and games. It's all you know, like you guys. It's like well, we're not here. Thanks for you, buddy. Thank you, man. It's really? a very Jared, exciting. Jared, one of my day. Well, Thank Jared you for and I me. started comedy together, so. 
That's I right. can vouch. Yeah. He's, he's a good dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this has been a This has been a <laughs> This has been a babe. <laughs> Don't be a flake, don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed, don't hesitate to say, hey, babe.